Happy Monday, friends. If you're new here, every week we head out on an adventure. So whether you're looking for inspiration to plan your own trip in real life, or you'd like to see an area, but you can't make it there in person, I invite you to join me for a virtual visit. I'm so glad you're here. Let's explore. This week we're in Yosemite National Park and today we're taking the short hike on the western side of Tuolumne Meadow to Pothole Dome. A small parking lot marks the beginning of this trail at the western edge of the Tuolumne Meadow and directly in front of Pothole Meadow. You can really explore getting up on this granite dome because there's no one set route up to the top, but please stay on the maintained path on the way to this spot to protect the meadow here and remember all the leave no trace principles on your visit. Often all through summer and even into the fall months, beautiful wildflowers can be found here located just off of the trail path. At just over a mile out and back, with less than 200 feet in elevation gain, Pothole Dome is a fun add-on to any trip along Tioga Road. This is a quick and fun hike in Yosemite's high country, but just remember the hike is only accessible during the summer months when Tioga Road is open. Follow the marked trail at the base of this dome, around to the right, and you'll soon see where to head next. You'll notice the official trail ends, and you can start your ascent up this wonderful piece of granite. Because the trail itself is relatively flat, the full elevation gain is on the scramble up this incredible granite boulder, so you'll be gaining almost 200 feet, but it's still an easy hike up.
This is a great family-friendly hike, especially if you stick to the east-facing slope, which is the easiest to climb up. And for both sunrise and sunset, this is a spectacular spot, which is less crowded than the nearby Lambert Dome. Pothole Dome is definitely considered one of the smallest domes along Tioga Road, and while it is worlds away in both length and difficulty from Yosemite's famous Half Dome, it's still a fun-worthy stop, uh, and it almost reminds me of a mini Sentinel Dome hike, which happens to be one of my favorite stops along Glacier Point Road. This dome offers unique evidence of water eroded potholes in the granite, hence the name Pothole Dome. And dotting the ridge line, you'll also find stranded round boulders of a glacier that has long since retreated from the area. As you reach what looks like the top of the dome, you'll notice you have one final scramble to the tippy top, but it is worth the extra hiking. From the Sierras to the north, to Unicorn and Cathedral Peaks to the south, you'll be surrounded by wonderful 360 degree views up top. Once you're done with your climb here, you can head back the way you came or continue on to the refreshing Tuolumne River or on to Soda Springs too. If you're planning an adventure in the Yosemite wilderness off of Tioga, please be aware that currently excessive flooding is causing some trails to be hard or virtually impossible to find and follow, so make sure you have knowledgeable navigation for your adventures. Thank you so much for joining me this week in Yosemite. And for more information on this Tioga Road stop, see my full Pothole Dome blog post at flyingdonmarie.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.